question is to surrender. Oh my god. I... The Daddy body suit. Body suit. That's this good? We will make disgusting friends in the of you, yeah? <laughs> there is helmet and pair of boots and we will be... How you say? In the business. Uh oh, there's people out there. Yeah, whoever voiced Andrew, Roy Andrew Ryan in this game did an extremely good job. I'm actually gonna have to look up who did that because the voice acting, at least for Andrew Ryan in this game, is just great. It's really, really good voice acting. What's up with this? Than you. Okay. Huh. So not only do I have a large bar of health, but all their attacks are doing even less damage now. Oh, I was just getting out. Oh, you wanna play, huh? Okay, we'll play. Get that helmet. Send them a conveyor belt that way. I don't know. I don't care too much. I'm just gonna look for those boots. I'd turn tail if I were you, kid. Ain't nothing here for you but tears. Sorry, man, but your little sister is dead. Big Daddy helmet. Now I'm a oh, real big look daddy. You. you look just the same as those. Oh, what things we have done. What things. Now the boots. Now the boots. I didn't mean to Hackers Delight 3 can go in the bank. Oh man, I should not have gone. See, this can be hard to find a boots like this with a helmet on. Now I'm getting kind of claustrophobic. What do you guys think about the big daddies? Do you like their suits? Okay, now I just gotta find the boots and complete the complete the collection. And then I've got a date with Fontaine. Which will be pretty much the end of the game. At which point I will probably start Bioshock 2, but I think, you know, what I've been doing right now lately is I've been playing a lot of uh, Bioshock 2, I've just been stuck on this, I'm probably going to do a bunch of different games. This guy actually has plasmids. Optimize eugenics, little wonders, factory. Let's check out what's in here. You got any boots or anything? I can only be glad I am nowhere near you and that awful stink. Why the little one that drawn to the smell of those pheromones? Oh cool, the pheromones are in here. See, I'm doing everything out of, out of order because I've never played this before and I don't really pay attention either. I should probably pay more attention to what you're saying, but it is what it is and we will just, we're going to get through this part super fast. Collected a big daddy pheromone. Uh, jump, Houdini Splicer. Both can jump. Alright, Spider Slicer. Oh my god, this place is packed with Splicers. 
Are they attack me because I stink now or something? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go get those boots. Those boots are over here in this armored place. This falsified, false, fail safe armored. Suit assembly, let's check in here. Oh, shut up, Frank Fontaine. This guy is such a drama queen. I can see why Ryan wanted to kill him. He cries too much. Kind of interesting about this game when you first started playing it in the beginning it's really hard you know I know you haven't gotten your stuff upgraded and stuff but not only is it hard but they actually give you less items to work with but as you progress more in this game you end up getting a lot more stuff it's kind of a cool way to do it I think Resident Evil 4 does it a similar way and a few other search the libraries all right figure out where the libraries are Resident Evil 4 does it the same way, they give you a bunch of stuff, like items and all sorts of stuff towards the end. But games like Dead Space, it's like really rare to find anything. You know. And it's, it's kind of fun playing games both ways, where it's hard to do it and where it's kind of easy to do it. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and find these boots, it's taking forever. Some library. <laughs> Found some booze. It's nice, I guess. Uh, pheromones. So I don't know. Where the heck? I think I've already got the boots. Optimize eugenics. I went there. Ooh, is this a library? Yeah, this is a library. 